What is up guys, this is Smith262 and I'm back with another video for you guys up on Black Ops and this time I'm playing on the map Nuketown. I think my second video was up on Nuketown but this time I'm playing Domination on it and I wasn't really a big fan of this map in the very beginning because you know the spawn points mess up and whatever but now I figured out how to play it and I really do like the like the game or like the map actually. But one thing I didn't notice, I've been watching my gameplays on theater mode, and I've been dying around like maybe 10 or 15 times, and I'll get like 50 kills, 60 kills, but I'm still dying like 10 to 15 times, and I don't like how, I didn't know how I was getting these deaths. So I went on theater mode, I started watching my gameplays, and I noticed how I got all, like, all of my deaths in like every single game that I play. It's with these damn claymores. Those claymores are so fucking overpowered. It pisses me off because you know I'm a I'm a I'm a rusher I'm a runner and gunner, and if a guy plants a claymore, you can't run past that claymore. It's literally impossible because it blows up and then the click sound goes on, which <laughs> which is like what the fuck? How am I supposed to how am I supposed to run past that shit? But yeah, I've been just evaluating my game plan. I'm like, okay, these claymores are pissing me off. Um, I gotta make some changes in my gameplay. And I think I figured it out now how I how to overcome overcome this. And the way is is by flak jacket. I think it's I think that's what it's called the flak jacket, the flak vest or whatever. It's the it's the first perk. So I, it made me remove hardline. I do not use hardline anymore. Um, so I use the flak that flak. What is it? The flak jacket? I think. Yeah, the flak jacket. I believe. Um, I've been using that and. Shit, I'm just running past claymores like they're nothing. But one thing I didn't notice, it's supposed to stop the explosive if you were that if you were that perk. And I died by like a few RC cars, and I just don't understand why I got the perk on. I shouldn't be dying by that shit. Um, but who knows? I ha I have like um I haven't died by a lot of them, but I still died by some. So I'm guessing if the if the RC car is like literally right beside you, it, it will kill you. But if it's like a little, a little way, it will just damage you. Um, but that's what I, I've been doing. Um, I had to make some changes because I'm dying by claymores. And if you, if, you if, if I go and check my stats and it says what am I most killed by, um, the first stat is knifing because I hate knifing. Um, and they, that's what I'm usually get killed by the most. And then the, the follow up by claymores. But one thing I. I was thinking because the flak jacket, the pro end, it sucks. The, the pro end sucks. Um, why? I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Fire, fire resistance. No one uses the flamethrower. Like seriously, now um, the flamethrower sucks. So there's no really point of making that pro, making that like a fire resistant thing. One thing I think they should have did, and people at Infinity Ward start taking notes right now. Um, and get this shit down for Modern Warfare 3 is have flat jacket in the game, but the pro end it gives you like it gives you how can I say this? It's like I was talking about in my other commentaries. It takes two knives, two knives, two stabs to kill you. That's what I do. You you're having you're wearing extra armor and shit. Why not two stabs? That's one thing I think they need to they need to do because shit I would use that all day long. Stop these knifers from panic knifing me, and pissing me off like crazy. Cause you don't know how many times, like, like especially here, where I like say I'm going up those stairs, all of a sudden the guy just lunges up the stairs and gets me. He can he can do that, no no problem. But he's, he's gonna have to do that, stab me one more time, and I won't let him stab me one more time because I'm gonna put bullets into the guy. So yeah, that's what I think they should do. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea for flak jacket. For the pro end, it would take two stabs to kill you because you don't know how pissed off when it comes to knifing I get mad I get mad like crazy um, I also took off Warlord for some of my guns so I don't use extended mags and a silencer um, I'll just use a silencer or maybe grip I've been trying out grip on the AK-74U and it's pretty beastly and I noticed if you use a silencer on the AK-74U it weakens the it weakens the gun by a lot so that's why I stopped using it just a little bit. I still use it sometimes, but most of the time it's usually grip right now. It's not like the P90 with the silencer, where if you have a silencer on and if you don't have the silencer on, 
and he's still gonna do the same damage. That's why I love the silent, the P90 with the silencer. <laughs> you see my Modern Warfare 2 videos, like every single game, I got P90, 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 and Modern Warfare 3, Infinity Ward. You better put the P90 in the game. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, Nuketown. Nuketown's a fun map to play. You know, I, I like it. I like Shipment. I like Dome. If you know, I don't like World at War. I like Dome. Um, and I like Rust, but you couldn't play Domination on Rust, so that's why I said, so that's why I think Rust is whack, because they didn't allow it on Domination. But, but yeah, and I, and I could have swore, I could have swore that the special thing would be like zombies coming out the map, because if you shoot all the mannequins heads, there's supposed to be some secret, but it's just a song, um, I thought that was pretty whack. And also, one thing I found out, if you guys did not know, um, I got a red clan tag right now, blue, green, you can do you can do those clan tags. You don't have to be the 14th prestige or the 13th prestige. All you have to do is go to split screen, change it to red, blue, or green, come back to your, go back to the multiplayer state, and then you got your red clan tag. Um, you guys better hurry up because I bet you they're going to patch that in the next patch. If they do come with the next patch, I don't know when it's going to when it's gonna come, but they'll probably patch that. But yeah, I'm using the the red clan tag right now, and I'm getting called a hacker a few times already. But then I'm just like, yo, you just go to split screen, and then all of a sudden you just get, you'll have the the red clan tag. So yeah, and I <laughs> this game I actually dropped 86 kills, and which is pretty good. And those 50 kill games I'm, I was uploading to my channel, those are just appetizers. Um, I'm sending videos into Machinima every day. So hopefully they'll get posted soon and you're going to see some beastly gameplay. Trust me, some beastly gameplay up on Domination. And regular, and it's just a regular 6v6 Domination. I'm going to have to get into Ground War soon. Um, but right now, maybe this, this, this week and next week, I'll probably do Domination 6v6. Then I'll move to Ground War. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I lost the game. Can't win them all. Um, please like the video, comment on the video, and I will see you guys later.